the farewell road trip down memory lane as the Beetle goes extinct. After decades of production, Volkswagen is slamming the brakes on the little car that became a big generational symbol. As CTV's John Venavelli Rao reports, from hippies to Herbie, there's still a lot of love for the bug. We hit the road with VW enthusiast Stephen Batozzi, who with his father restored this 1963 Beetle, a car he first fell in love with as a kid. Just kind of cool to drive something nostalgic people don't see every day. Fixing up this classic bug took a year and a half. Started out as a stock 63 Beetle. Uh, but Potosi feels it was worth it to preserve a piece of automotive history. I'm sure there's going to be lots of sad faces when the last one rolls off the line. On Wednesday at this Volkswagen factory in Mexico, they'll hold a ceremony to mark the end of Beetle production. After roughly 70 years, no more Beetles of any kind will be built. Because the Volkswagen doesn't go out of style overnight. First sold in North America in the 1950s, the car was initially founded as a project for Adolf Hitler, who asked Austrian engineer Ferdinand Porsche to design a people's car or Volkswagen. But production didn't really get going until after the Second World War. I believe the British took over and started the factory up to give employment to the Germans, and that's when everything started to take off. Known for its curves, quality, low price, and unconventional advertising, the car made a splash globally. In the 60s, it became a counterculture statement, and its fame cemented when Disney made a film called The Love Bug, starring a car named Herbie. More than 21 million were built. In recent decades, production shifted to newer versions, including a sleeker third-generation Beetle, but sales have tapered off. And now the only plant making them is halting production. Still, fans plan to keep the old ones going. It's a lot of fun driving because you're always getting looks and stares. Everybody's honking their horns, and then you see the kids doing the punch buggy. And could the beloved Beetle someday make a return? BW execs have said, never say never. John Benavelli Rouse, CTV News, Toronto.